Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will talk more about categorization. And specifically, I'll talk about the required fields, the required columns, the required metadata. In this document library, I've created two new list columns. And if I go into library settings, you'll notice that the year is a single line of text and the type of document is choice. And it's also required. So let's click on this type of document and remove the required option on that. And then I'm going to show you the effect that that has. Really nothing. I can upload a document now. Let's just do that. And as you'll notice now, the install log is added, but it doesn't get any metadata. It doesn't get a year. It doesn't get a document because I didn't put any default values on those two columns. If you want to make that mandatory, if you don't want to have uh, items showing up in your document library or list without any metadata, then you might want to make them mandatory. Into the library settings here again. And then I'm going to change type of document to a required value like that. And then I'm going to show you what happens when you upload a document again now. Excel file. I upload that and now you'll notice that I get this dialog that shows me the metadata, the year and the type of document. So now I do need to fill that out before I can check it in. Let me show you one more thing in regards to this. If I open this document library now in Windows Explorer, let's just put this in um, quick access. Yeah, the shared documents, that's the one I put here. And now I'll go into my documents and I will find the, one of these images, for example, I want to put that in there. And if I drag that into my shared documents now, I'll just copy them. It gets uploaded. Fine. But since I have a mandatory value in here, you'll notice what happens. It's there and it doesn't have any data. Look at this little icon here. It is showing up as checked out. So that means that it's locked to me. So if somebody wants to continue working on this file, unlikely in this case, but, but anyhow, they won't be able to because it's locked. And this is a very, very easy thing to miss. So if I try to check this in now, there we go, check in. You notice that I can't because it's, it doesn't have the metadata. So I do need to edit the properties on this thing. Properties like that, there we go. And now I can save that. And then of course I can go and check it in too. There's another way of doing that, a bit fewer clicks. Here is the check in button there. And now it's properly checked in and people can continue working on that. And that now I used a picture there, but of course the same principle goes for files also. So as you'll notice, this putting a field as required does add a bit of a burden to um, the work you need to do to actually get a file into SharePoint. So I would recommend being very careful about which fields you want to have as mandatory. Of course, it's very valuable to have this metadata filled out. Otherwise, stuff won't work, but it's also creates a lot of trouble if you have mandatory and required values. So that's a consideration that you have to do depending on how skilled your users are and what, what way they're working with your system. So it's not an easy thing to consider, but I wanted to go through the pros and cons of this scenario. Thank you for watching.